What up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dustin's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you on an Easter Sunday. Hope you all are having a wonderful Easter Sunday and spending some quality time with your family, eating some good food, uh, doing some Easter egg action, that sort of thing. To be honest, the uh, household of mine, Nola was up like 10 times last night puking, so she's at home with Mama, uh, chilling out. But Maya and I are over at Steve's house. We're over at Steve's. You like Steve? Yeah? No! No, I don't like Steve either, but we got Species Sunday for you today. Yeah, Species Sunday in the mix. Um, not actually a fish, not actually a plant, but my man's got some skill with discus, and I want to show you how he does it. So, got a little white worm action. Is that right, brother? Take white it away, because I just don't do this stuff, man. So, talk about it. Man, so discus can be finicky eaters, and the food can get expensive, especially if you're buying tons of blood worms or tons of flake or tons of beef heart. If you do a planted tank with discus, you want a food that's nice that doesn't dirty the tank, like beef heart or too much flake. I grow my own culture white worms. They're not in the perfect shape right now, but I'll show you what I do. Um, this is it right now, and I'm going to throw out this moldy bread. They eat bread, and I've got some pieces of glass here that I use to hold them down. And eventually, from time to time, you will see that the worms will just group up at the bread. Unfortunately, I moved this box a little while ago. Oh, there Look we go. down there. You can just see tons of white worms. Now, if you put a new piece of bread up, they'll come up to the new piece of bread, eat a little hole out of it, and you can grab them and feed them to your, to your discus. Let's see if I can find enough to, also to some feed. Over here. So here's what I do. Someone um, ate that glass. I take some old, stale bread, nice new piece like this, I put just a little bit of water. So is it on. new or is it stale? Is it, it's it's just... kind of stale. All right. Stale. I put it put it down here, and I use something to weigh it. I typically use like a piece of glass or something, and that just kind of holds it down. And eventually, you're going to see so many white worms just build right up here at the top. You're going to have a big handful of white worms to throw in for your discus. Discus love them. Other fish love them. They'll grow right up on the glass, and they will eat them like crazy. I'm sorry I don't have a bunch to show you right now. All right. But if you grab these few right here, I will show R you. How. Real quick before we go over to the tank, what is all the brown stuff underneath? What is all that like? That's just dirt. That is straight up dirt. Topsoil dirt. Don't use anything with fertilizer in it, obviously, because you're gonna kill. You're gonna... Now, did they just? Did you like seed them, or did you? Uh, I bought a little, little live culture online. Here's some. Here's a bunch more. Should I sell this on Aquatic Jungle? You could. Yeah. No, that's tight, dude. This bugs fly up. Yeah. Yeah, so Steve's so right. I keep this. it in my garage. My wife obviously won't let me keep it inside. Probably don't want to, anyways. We got some worms right here. Let's throw them in the discus tank. As we walk happens. over here, brother, what's the uh, temperature you try to keep them ideally? Um, they like it cool. They don't like it much hotter than 70. So anywhere from 40 to 70 degrees. That's why I keep them in the garage. Once it gets hot outside, I'll probably move them into a cool place in the house somewhere. But uh, here you go. Let's watch me. They go crazy for them. They're high fat, high calorie, so make your discus good and fat really quick. Great food. Wow. Love them. They wiggle around. The discus get all excited. Now that guy's not going to mess with them, and those two are going to mess with them because I got two pairs right now in the same tank and oh, both laid eggs. Can you get a close it. up on those oh. eggs back in the back? No, man. I'd hate to show off the discus <laughs> eggs. Absolutely. The Barry Manilow discus right here, dude. Yeah, that, that pair over there has got a. You're, you're able to get these hot, finicky, because we've compared them to hot chicks before. How they're need expensive food, hide. Yeah. Blah, blah. yeah, dude, but you're getting them to breed. That's t so tight, dude. Yeah, yeah. And now I want everybody to put in the comments how badly you want Steve to raise these, so he just has to dedicate his life to like bring it. Do you no, have you I'm raised? Not, I'm not raising this one. <laughs> too much trouble. Oh, teasing, I just dude. want a cool looking tank with some cool looking fish. Dude, yeah. that looks so sweet. There's pair number one. Old right side there with his. Right. Oh, look at these ones. These guys be getting down. Yep, pair number two. That's awesome, bro. That's yep. so sweet. But this tank's going great. I don't have the filter running while I feed them because uh, it'll suck the stuff in. I'll get the FX5 plug back in in a second, clear up the water. I'm working on the tank, trying to get the gloss over on a little bit better. Yeah, it looks good, dude. He, uh, White worms, man. Grow your own live culture. Grow your own free food for your fish. And the fish obviously love it. Discus love it. And the cool thing is, is they are terrestrial animals. They grow on land. So you won't get any parasites that fish can get from white worms. Uh -huh. Unlike other live food you can give discus. Dropping knowledge today. So that's a cool thing to know.
That's very cool, dude. Loving the ultra tank. Ultra healthy, ultra high calorie, Ooh. big fat discus. Loving it, dude. And how long have you been feeding them the white worms? I do it about once or twice a week. If you feed them too much, they'll only eat white worms. Uh, they'll give up everything else. So We don't want that. I, I, I grab uh, earthworms from the yard every now and again and throw in an earthworm. They love messing with earthworms, too. That's awesome, dude. Well, your tank looks great, man. Thanks. Looking good. Discus over here just getting buck. Wow. Everyone make it a great week. Happy Easter Sunday, folks.